Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew. Welcome to Tuesday. And this is your best source for the newest Atari 2600 games mm. at 60 frames a second with cats. Yes. And shirts. And shirts. And cats on shirts. Yeah. Yay, they finally <laughs> arrived. Yay, we're Ew. the last ones to get them. <laughs> Always. That's okay. Yeah. So welcome to Zero Page Homebrew. We're going to be taking a look at four games today. Mm -hmm. Brand new Homebrew 2020 just released in the past like week um so that's great and even next show is full of new games uh, new games yeah like a ton and i think somebody even mentioned that this is banging against that uh what is it the picture yeah when we're moving it's banging against the picture and oh. making noises Here, so annoying lean it forward there yes we there we go that's um so we're gonna be playing local hero 2 it's an exclusive uh work in progress premiere uh we're gonna be playing stack game by blue swimmer Dog Gone It uh, by Armscar Coder, who's in the chat. I saw his name go by. And Robot Tag by Carl G, who is also in the chat, which is awesome. Yay. We've got two of the developers here. <clears throat> and I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers mm -hmm. that uh, support the show Al Nefer, Cafe Man 2D, Captain Classic, Catalox, Catalox, CD W, Charles and Check, Cold Heat, Cold Heat 007. Dianoid, some new names in here, so I have to get used to them. Dan AVC, Glenn mm -hmm. Main, Ground Trooper, John Anitro, Johnny WC23, Jupiter Storm 17, Carl G, Croco 2600, Mark Space Inc, Metal Lunar, Metal, not Metal Lunar, Metal Atari 1969, <laughs> then Metal Lunar 7, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Strum, Pack Rat VG, RC70, Repentless VG, Sir Sweet, Sir, Six Sweet Sir Cat Legs. <laughs> Mixing them up. This, he's blending, blending them. them all together. Now. Socrates 0603, Spartan 581, Spiceware, Esmeralda 2008, The D Train 37, Welshman 89, Thunkus, Tiki, Dan K, Trek MD. So many. Whew. So many. Whew. And Blue Swimmer is here. Yes. Deep so we've got three breaths. out of four of the developers, which is awesome. really awesome. A very good turnout. Yes. Yeah, 75%. We've reached our quorum. Yeah. Yeah. The quorum. <laughs> uh, the cats will do voting by proxy. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to vote? Yes. Okay. Excellent. Um, so you can support the show and subscribe for free too. If you link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime and click subscribe. And I know two people uh, resubscribe just before the show. Jupiter Storm 17 subscribe for two months now. Thank you so much. And who else did that? Pack Rat VG subscribe for four months. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. And uh, so just make sure if your name's not on there, just make sure you can uh, just resubscribe and get it back on there. And make sure you follow, like, click hearts and things all over the place. YouTube, Twitch, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, wherever you are. Yeah. <laughs> so you know when things are coming out and when we change days. Because it's Tuesday. It's crazy. We used to be on Wednesday and Sunday yeah. for a little bit during the break, during the... Yeah. This crisis <laughs> and we're coming out of it in vancouver so things are moving back mm -hmm. and but we're switching it to tuesday and friday mm -hmm. it used to be wednesday and friday before all this mm -hmm. but i like the gap in between you enjoyed the wednesday sunday for that reason like, yes because yeah. there's a lot of it's maximum gap is as much yeah. as you could yeah so, so it gives you lots of prep time for each yeah, yeah it'll it'll make for better shows because before it was like wednesday friday and yeah, it's like on you, friday i didn't have any time really to prepare well and you'd have just have thursday right like, yeah. yeah so yeah. it was a Kinda bit cramped yeah. so yeah it's better it's better for tuesday yeah. tuesday friday yeah. so those are the new days yeah. for the foreseeable future yeah. that they're not changing unless something out of the ordinary mm -hmm. happens and it would just barely change mm -hmm. yeah um so mail news and feedback uh this is one of the <laughs> news is that so I made a lovely comment shirt? about it's good you have the logo otherwise you'd blend into the into the couch <laughs> oh oh boy yeah <laughs> you are pretty couch colored right now I am couch colored I like the red actually I don't even remember ordering the red James yeah. is like here's your shirt I'm like I ordered red? red I don't even remember but I really actually and tomorrow is Canada Day so it kind of works you know I've got my red That's for right. Canada Day I can wear it around you and could. people will have no, no clue. clue what the reference is no, but they'll cats. enjoy the cats there's a rainbow so it is actually pride month as well yeah I've got pride and there Canada you go. Day going at the that's, same time so that's pretty yeah. good yes. so Carl G likes like the red it. yeah I like the red I, I think it actually I'm, I'm glad I went with the red so. yeah 
Um, so you can, if you like these, you can get. Are we a little out of focus? Because you weren't here for the focus. I'm gonna no, fix that. No, no, I second. I ended up having to stay like totally beyond my control. Stay late at work, so I I ate in like two minutes. I'm sure I'll have indigestion in about twenty. Oh no. Um, but. Uh, so there's the link for the shirts. Nice. If you yeah. like them, there's also uh, mugs. There's. Mm pillows mm -hmm. so there's other stuff there mm -hmm. so if you like these you can uh, they have some different weights of shirts the show. too and i think yours is normal or is yours the um i'm just gonna focus here oh oh it's okay so just look straight ahead and your light so that doesn't help yeah watch well, out for kitties yep yeah. it's okay yep yeah. this is the heathered red Shirts. That's what it's called. Yeah. yeah. So it's 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 a little bit more. And mine is faded. Called... What did you get? Heather gray. Yeah, you have the heather. <laughs> yeah, because it's not a solid color. It's and kind then of speckled. I think there were some oh, solid yeah. colored ones too. That, that and these were are bought. for They're other gifts. Other They're people. Gifts. Yeah. Who but... who you may see soon. Yeah. Um. This is charcoal, I think. Yeah. With the cats. And I think that's just the regular gray. Not the heathered. Yeah. Yeah, regular, regular, regular. charcoal gray. Yeah. The the darker. Gray. I like that. The darker is nice too. It is. Yeah. yeah. And then. The regular, like the one like yours, is yeah. also in the charcoal, I think. And then this one. Yeah. Without the cats. Yeah. That one's nice. Yeah. I like the charcoal. It goes. It goes because it's a pretty bright logo, so it goes nice with the dark background as well. So. And yes. Um. Well, we need somebody to design rage the rage reset because I I can't think. <laughs> Of what to do for the Rage Reset shirt. Because mm. I'm thinking, oh, should it be the Game Reset button? Like the, the words in orange and the little switch. You just and have then a red hand. lines, red lines. Like I want it simple. <laughs> yeah. And I'd rather not have words on it, but you kind of need, you need Rage Reset. Oh, you could put Rage Reset instead of Game Reset. Yeah. In the same font. You could, yeah. That would work. Yeah. Okay, I'll... Uh, uh, I'll work on that. I'll have, think about that. You could have that. little anime lines coming out of it too, like yeah. a little rage, Just, rage game reset or something like that. Yeah, too. yeah. Yeah, no, that's cool. And I'm not an artist, yeah. but I, I try. Yeah, yeah, that would work. I yeah. think that might work. Um, so a little bit of self-promotion here off the top of the show, besides this, I guess. <laughs> yeah, um, so my documentary film, mm. A Perfect 14, yeah. um, is now on the biggest streaming platform in the US. Mm. It's on Amazon Prime Video. Mm -hmm. Um, so if you wanted to watch my film and see what I do for a day job, um, you can watch this. Um, oh, you're putting it in there. Nice. Because it's free now, pretty much, if you have Amazon Prime. Yeah. Um, so there you go. Um, and if you don't have that Amazon Prime, you can yeah. pay, pay to watch it. But, um, yeah. um, and I know a lot of you have Prime because you yeah, <laughs> that's true. donate your Prime thing <laughs> you have no to us. <laughs> Um, so yeah, no shaming. It is <laughs> it is the biggest streaming platform. I think that's amazing in the U.S. Yeah, I think that's amazing, and it's and it's quite quite an accomplishment. Mm. Um, I think anyway, for for a filmmaker, it's a big thing. It's mm. a big deal to get yeah. on a subscription video on demand. Yeah. yeah, anybody can get on video demand, but you can't. Not yeah. anybody can get on subscription video on demand. Yeah, um, that's good. So I produced and edited the film, and I happened to film it as well. Yeah, I was on camera as well. But producing and editing's my editing is my main thing. So um, if you have it, you can watch it for free in Canada and U.S. right now. So. If you have Prime, yeah. If you have Prime, yeah. So after the show, yeah. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't tune out now. Yeah. Um, but it may not be your thing. But if you like documentaries, hopefully it's yeah. interesting enough. I'll, but I mean, I, I I would definitely say it's more geared towards a female demographic. And if you have wives or children, I think yes. it's, it's it's a good documentary. They they might find it really interesting. Ooh, a so. cat paw. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, are well, you Pix talking about the rage reset? Yeah, I was, because yeah. Pixel tried to reset it once. Oh, that was hilarious. So maybe we can get yeah. Pix Pixel's paw. Yeah. Right? <laughs> a little black and white That's paw. That's more of a cat, cat rage reset. Thing. Yeah, with yeah. a little pink. Yeah, in the UK, I don't no. know if, if there's any chance yeah, of it ending there's... up there in the UK. or in, in like, I mean, it, you can watch it. Does Prime exist in the UK? Amazon Prime? Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah it, it, it does. does. Yeah. But it's only in UK, US and Canada right now. But yeah. there's other options to watch it in the UK, but you'll have to pay for them. Yeah. Um, Just through iTunes and things like that. Yeah, probably. iTunes, yeah. Vimeo, even Amazon. It's on Amazon Normal yeah. in the UK. Just not, not on Prime, Prime yet. yet okay. so, yeah. yeah. Uh, but anyway, 
enough about that. Um, also, uh, Brian Mathern's book came. I, I did show this on the stream last yes. episode. Yes, yes, yes. Um, very briefly. Oh, yeah. I can't see myself there. there um, so, Atari 2600 Homebrew Companion. Are we still in? Yeah, I'm kind of... out. Uh, can you hold this in yeah, front of I'll you? Yeah, I'll hold it. Yeah. Because I want the focus to be out there, not behind us. Yeah, it's a little off. Hold it a little bit more forward. Forward. Yeah. Better. That's better. Yeah, I want the focus to be like here. Yeah. That doesn't matter. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, it's really awesome. Has a whole bunch of new games in it. Mm -hmm. Homebrew games. And uh, it's got Star Castle Arcade on the front. And that coincided very well with Thomas Yance's interview. Yes. Long form, three and a half hour interview on Sunday. Mm -hmm. So that is available on YouTube now to watch. Uh, it was a lot of fun, got a lot of great response. Mm -hmm. And the next one's going to be Daryl Spice Jr., which is in August for, on August 14th. Mm. And the next one is already lined up. Oh. John Shampo. Oh, nice. Is lined up for September. Oh, wow. Date so, pending. So you've you've got them month by month. That's perfect. Yeah, I yeah. want to do about one a month or so i don't know i don't know who's going to be after that so if anybody has suggestions for other uh developers that you'd like to see um us do on the show nathan mm -hmm. strum said thomas's spotlight was great mm -hmm. I, I agree it was a lot of fun mm -hmm. running through his massive catalog of games that he's worked on just massive mm -hmm. um so i'd re i'd like to concentrate on people who have a good catalog of games mm -hmm. um like one or two is not it's not going to fill a show right um, so it would be like a decent amount of games that yeah. we can run through at first. And, yeah. Yeah. Um, but it was, it was a lot of fun, uh, diving deep into that and getting, um, a lot. Andrew Davies, a good suggestion. Yes. Uh, CDW is a very good suggestion as well. Yeah. Excellent. Um, looking forward to Daryl and John, a couple of, uh, guys on here tonight. Yeah. Ah, yes. Um, so that was fun. You can go check that out. It's three and a half hours. <laughs> yeah. We had a ton of games, <laughs> but, um, I think it was worth it. And I don't mind going long if it's interesting. Yeah. Just like movies. Movies are long. doesn't matter as long as they keep your attention. Um, so, and also, also the um, new book, Brian Mathern's new book, has an intro by me called What is a Homebrew? By James Earl O'Brien. There you <laughs> go. Get a sneak preview of it. Yeah. Um, and I explain uh, what homebrews are in my definition. Anyway. In your definition. Yeah. And yeah. nobody's complained, like I say. <laughs> so that works. I'm sure works. someone will, but that's okay. <laughs> and I've also, speaking of books, I've also been reading through this, mm. which is Andrew Davies' book. Nice. <laughs> and it teaches you how to program for the Atari 2600. Nice. Atari 2600 programming for, for newbies. newbies. And this is actually edited by Dion Olsthorn. Nice. Dionoid. <laughs> yeah. Um, and it's kind of organized really well because it starts out fairly early with play fields. And my new game is heavily dependent on, on play, play fields. fields. Yeah. Um, so I really liked that was the order for this. So I'm uh, working my way through it, doing the exercises, because he has like an explanation, posts some code, and at the end of each chapter, he says, try this on your own. Try and figure out these things mm -hmm. and make it work. And so I've been doing that, and it's kind of teaching me how, you know, timings mm -hmm. and the different types of code and how to manipulate it. Mm. So it really also recommend the Stephen Hug book. Oh, I don't know if I know that one. I have another book. Maybe it's that one. Let's see. Nope. Stephen Wright. <laughs> <laughs> is that Steve Wright? Is that the one you meant? meant? This is also um, Stella. Stella. put together by Dion Elsthorne. Yeah. Uh, Stella's Programmer's Guide. Oh. Um, but I think this one's really, really old. Mm. Yeah, 1979. Yeah, really, really old. Mm. Um, I don't know the Stephen Hug book. Interesting. Um, let me post the link for uh, Brian Mathern's book, just in case you're interested in that. Actually, I'm posting the link to all his books. Not the comedian, Stephen, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Oh, suggestive. Mm. Yep. Yep. I, I suddenly realized today I actually have tomorrow off work. 
I was saying to James, I got halfway through the day and I was at a meeting and they said, oh, happy Canada Day. And I went, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah, I have tomorrow off. So hence beer. Oh, make, <laughs> making games for the Atari 2600 by Stephen Hug. $32 for the paperback. Oh, and that's American. Oh, my goodness. How much is this? How big is this book? That's, that's well, the Kindle version's much cheaper. Yeah, but I, want, <laughs> I like real, but forty-three twenty. Oh, boy, <laughs> paperback. How many pages yep. is it? Uh, it's three hundred forty grams. Two hundred sixty-three pages. That is fairly sizable, isn't it? Mm. Mm, yeah, it's almost twice the size of this. Mm. A little bit less. So, uh, I'll take a look at that and look at reviews. Yes, oh. you have Friday, Friday off for the three days July fourth. Yeah. Yep. Well, not three days because they mu they must shift it. Oh. Shift it to the Friday, but that's they nice. still celebrate yeah. on July fourth, and then they have the day off on Friday on the weekend. or Monday. Yeah. Or, yeah. It yeah. kind of sucks when that day off happens to be on a Wednesday, <laughs> Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. It always sucks a little bit, but yeah. Um, but no, I I I just completely Skipped completely mind. forgot that See, yeah. I forgot the, the too. Wednesday midweek Wednesday yeah. was off so. Um, yeah, currently retired every day is off. That that must be nice. <laughs> yeah. So, um, somebody posted this in the Discord. It's a link mm. to a YouTube video that I want to show you guys. Uh, let's see. Let's do that. And it... Let me turn it down too so I don't blast your ears off. It is... Somebody made the Bubble Bobble tune for the Atari 2600. Oh, cool. And um, so this is posted yesterday on YouTube by Fragman. And it's using the Activision DPC expansion chip um, in Pitfall 2 for the three, ch three plus channel 2600 music. And it's really good. Good. Now you're looking like at the it. screen going, oh my god, that looks amazing. <laughs> but this isn't a real screen. I, I asked him. Um, oh, on it's YouTube. just something. I'm you like, did you make the, the screen? Sound? Yeah, yeah. Um, but he based it off of what he saw for Atari graphics. Yes. Okay. Uh, something very similar could be made. Um, yeah. Actually, you could do this, but you'd have to do some flicker. Yeah. Because it's using um, playfield graphics. Um, with multiple colors in the same line, which is difficult, impossible, that many changes. Or you could shift it by one, the other colors. You could do three, three colors, like the orange, yellow, and red, and have them all on separate lines. And that would work. Um, and the bub and bob at the bottom couldn't be on the same line as that Atari, oh. or you'd have to do flicker. Yeah. So if you just shifted the Atari up a okay. bit, you'd be totally fine. And so it looks really, really good, which got me thinking, um, could Bubble Bobble be made on the 2600? Um, so what I did is checked a little bit into it. Yeah, that. Yeah, I saw the post on Atari Age. Cat! Mm -hmm. You have to post the cat graphic. <laughs> post Atari. There we go. There you go, Dan. Um, so I saw Pac-Man Red did a full set of Bobble Bobble 2600 graphics. Mm. And I want to show you guys that post because it is incredible. Let me bring it up here. And he is, he is a master at doing graphics. Um, there we go. It's there. Oh, can I zoom in? Mm. Ooh, there we go. So you can see uh, on the left is the original graphics. Mm. And on the right is Atari possible graphics. Okay. As you see, they, they only use one color per line. Yes. And he's Pac-Man Red so good yeah. at converting over. It's like, yeah, if those were an Atari game, you'd be like, oh my God, it's yep, great. Yeah, looks pretty good. And he's got the bubbles over there, too, all yeah. the different types of bubbles, all the enemies. Uh, there's the original. There's it on the right. I don't know if they have all the... No, maybe they do have all the frames of animation. It's yeah. only two. Um, and then simplified, captured 
bubbles. Yes, that makes looks sense. Looks like it's reduced quite a bit down because you have to draw the bubble around it. Yeah. And um, I guess you could just change the colors of those bubbles. Yeah. So that that just looks looks That's incredible. That's very cool. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's the NES version that he's posted. the NES that he's yeah, yeah. matching it to. Um, let's close those tabs. There we go. Mm. Yeah. Any, anything can be ported to the 2600. <laughs> it's just about the level at which you're willing to compromise. Mm -hmm. Because really, if you're going to make it on the 2600, there's going to be flicker if there's more than two characters on a line. Unless you can somehow make them out of a ball or a missile. Mm. And those are too complex. Like maybe you can make the lightning out of missiles because they're very simple. Mm. But all the characters you'd have to make out of um, player characters. Player, yeah. Um, but if you look at like Zookeeper or if you yeah, look at yeah. Galagon, yeah. Galagon's not as good of an example because they, they only come down a couple at a time. Zookeeper is a better example of a lot of things on the same line. All those animals running around all, mm. all together. Yeah, and Robotron's a good example of being clever with the play field. But Robotron's an open field. Bubble Bobble is lots of vertical um kind of mazes i guess plays play fields mm. and horizontal so that doesn't quite work zero pagers there you go mm. <laughs> you've coined the coined the name <laughs> um but anyway let's see oh and atari boy uh started working on a mock-up of the artwork um for bubble bobble like the um cover There you go. There's the artwork. So all the hard parts are done. Mm. <laughs> you know, all the artwork and the music, all the hard parts. Now you just have to make the game. Mm -hmm. That's the easy part, is making the game. No, just kidding. Um, but that looks that looks really, really good. Just need to color that in. Okay, let's go back to this. Um, yeah, Bubble Bobble is one of my favorite games. I think we've mentioned that before. You love Bubble And it's Bubble a great two-player I... game. Yeah, only one step left. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that I kept my hype train conductor icon. Oh, he's oh, still got wow. his train conductor. That's very cool. That is very cool. Oh, I didn't read out the names in the chat. Uh, Cafe Man 2D, Carl G, <laughs> Metal Lunar, Dan ABC, Nathan's Drum, uh, Pack Rat VG, uh, Dan ABC, Muddy Funster, Blue Swimmer, S. Ramirez 2008, Ricardo Pym, Kev Kelly, Arena Foot, uh, Captain Carl Classic, G. Carl G, John mm -hmm. von Neumann, Metal Atari 1969, Ooh, Jupiter Storm 17, all the usual Al suspects. Al Nefer, yeah, that's Al. true. No, Kev Kelly. Yeah. Uh, get close to the top. Splendid Nut. Oh, Captain Classic. Yep. Captain Classic. Excellent. There we go. Sorry for missing all your names. Yep. Um, um, Atari Age has been posting box and cart art for mm. a couple of uh, games now mm. for the upcoming summer batch of homebrew. So it's coming close. It's getting Excellent. closer. Because I know when he starts posting the graphics. It's for, coming. <laughs> for things that, are, yeah, it's coming. Yeah. I don't know when, but usually by the time he finishes posting all of them, mm. then it's like, boom, then he releases all of them soon yeah. blue swimmer says yeah so let's take a look at some of it because it's very very cool um so he posted uh dragon's cash for the 7800 uh magical fairy force for the 5200 mm -hmm. um both of which we played on the show mm -hmm. um and the really interesting one is adventure X, adventure 2xe and scramble uh for the 8-bit and i want to show you the pictures for this because this is interesting look at these cases oh yeah transparent smoky black oh, cases neat. yeah really cool yeah look at that so you can see the back right through them to the chips um these are brand new cases that mm. al has got um for putting atari 8-bit games out Mm. And they're inject injected molded, injection molded. Yeah. So he can he can make as many a big run of them. A big run of, of them. Yeah, nice. Um, these were made by S I K O R Sikor, 
Um, so he's actually offering them for anybody to buy mm -hmm. in the Atari Age forums if you make your own games or whatever. So that's really, really good. And I hope that he can translate that to like 5,200 and uh, 2,600 games as well and offer them in this or maybe different colors. Mm. It'll be so, so cool. It is very cool. Yeah. That's not the, actually the best view. Oh, no. It doesn't work. So I want... Ah, there we go. Oh, it's got Atari Homebrew Companion as well. That's much bigger. Mm. There we go. Um, so I thought that was really cool. So I'm looking forward to those. Mm. I might get, I might pick up Scramble for a bit. That would be awesome. Mm. Um, so uh, there's some updates to the Atari 2600 RGB repair. <gasps> yes. Nathan? Done Nathan. by Nathan Strom. Excellent. So let's take a look quickly at, um, and you can peruse it yourself. Um, on your own time if you want to read all the gory details of let me post that into the chat one second let me close down this window too many windows open there is the thread of the newest updates uh, okay let's open this up and some big big updates that have happened go to there boom um so he got an uno cart to do mm. the testing with because mm -hmm. i was having trouble with uno carts before in the rgb yes. yeah um and it worked <gasps> yeah. no problem i think that's before the rgb mod that's just plain which he needs to test step by step which mm. is really smart um there is the uh harmony encore cart Excellent. working in the which is what plane. you use a lot so uh, yep, you need that working it's written there right now yeah. and he talked a little bit about how he got those um scott shots mm. um and he did a little teaser there and he found a little uh mangled transistor <laughs> oh so he straightened that out made it look a lot Very better nice resoldered nice um, that's the RGB uh, chip? Yeah, that's the RGB chip. Mm -hmm. There's some uh, pictures mm -hmm. of um, him soldering some wires to it. To the G, B, and Y. Uh, not the R. Uh, there's some more wires on there. Even more wires. Um, him talking about wiring up the audio. Because uh, it has to be split. Yes. And he's like, and he's like, you're not going to run two sources of audio, are you? Because people are like, uh, he anticipated people are saying, oh, but if you split the audio to two devices at the same time, won't it? Blah blah blah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I won't be plugging in two devices, mm. outputting to two things, just one at a time. Mm. So that won't be a problem. Um, there is the new plugs that he's going to wire in um, for the back. Yeah. There's the new um, pallet switch. Okay. For the, or that's the same pallet switch on the back. Yeah. Rewired. He was like, oh, I, maybe I'll use these. But he didn't have any on hand mm. um, that light up. Mm. And there is him installing it in his system, I believe. Just to see Just if to I can get it working. Probably? Make sure the RGB board is working. Is working, yeah. Before he puts it in mine. Neat. He's like, oh, isn't it nice and clean? And then he shows this. Yeah. This mess of wires. Yeah. Hey. Um, and it worked in his system. Mm. And he likes putting in Pac-Man for some reason. <laughs> and the Har Excellent. Harmony and the Uno worked. Excellent. And a beautiful, beautiful output. Nice. Look how clean that is. Oh my God, That's I miss nice. my RGB. Yeah. So much. Oh, you can see some color timing issue right there. Right there. Um, and he did note that later that um, oh. he's going to contact the... Uh, manufacturer of this and let him know about the color the timing color issues, timing issues? Mm -hmm. so maybe there can be a hardware update that's not good there's no software so it's not going to be fixed with no, a no. firmware or anything um then some more pictures and i think he noted it there as well you mm -hmm. can see i don't know if you guys can see if it's mm -hmm. big enough but there's some color timing issues there um and this game um does show color timing issues a lot it didn't yeah. seem to here that's good. Which is which is good. Um, and then getting to my system. Um, now he's showing some new wiring he did. Uh, I don't know if that's on my system. Oh, yeah, I think this is on my my system. Yep. And this is showing the color timing is still a problem. 
That means it's not his system, it is the RGB board that's introducing these problems. And then I said, oh man, I missed that RG crisp RGB output. Looking good, Nathan. Mm -hmm. And then it goes to uh, some more shots. And this is, I think, my board. I don't know. Yeah. You guys <laughs> can read it. Too fast. Yeah. yeah, I'm scrolling too fast. And some more stuff. And now he's got out the drill nice. to drill the new holes <laughs> because I have um, component. He's installing oh, yes. component yeah. as well as RGB, nice. as well as RF. So there should be three different everything. types of outputs. Have yep. everything there. And uh, that is the latest update for that. Very, very nice. And Nathan Strom says, Pac-Man works on anything. It's that or combat. So. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Uh, Lowest common denominator, I guess. Yeah. And then he said, Thomas has emailed the guy who designed the mod about the color timing issue. So we'll see. So, yeah. yeah. So it would have to it's come good. out in an, a new revision of the hardware. So it, it'll be good we'll for see. people looking to upgrade yep. theirs later if he can fix it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that's it for now. So let's get on to the games. Mm. First one up is Local Hero 2. This is an exclusive work in progress premiere. This is made by Satyr's Faction. And he did so many games in a row. I had to space them out. Yeah. Um, this one was actually, um, sent over to me May 29th. So a mm. couple weeks ago. Nice. So here's joystick for Sorry. you. Atari's fluffy belly right now. Oh, he's so cute. He is a cute cat. Yeah. Such a supportive game player. He is. Yeah. Keeps, keeps you warm. Mm hmm. So, oh, let's get the right thing on the screen. Um, so, this is a 32K DPC Plus. It's a sequel to his local hero. Yep. And load it up, leave it on the title screen. Local Hero 2, zero points. Um, other games he's made, Local Hero, Local Hero 2. Pantheon, Text Adventure. Tech, oh, what kind of bug? Just um, normal. Random little. Uh, and Text Adventure 2. This is not publicly available yet, this game. So I don't know when or if, mm -hmm. or if he's going to do some more updates um, based on our playthrough here. And we have never played this before. Mm -hmm. And he sent a note. I'm also working on Local Hero 2, which is far from done. But I thought you may want to see what I've done so far. Basically go around looking for flashing boxes, which represent clues. Okay. Once you have three, a hideout opens up, and you can go in and battle villains. Oh. And recover the stolen money bags. Mm. And of course, sense helps you find the clues. A lot of the powers are similar. There are a couple new ones. But uh, you select an attack power, and then two more powers from the same list. So now you have, uh, you can have fly and sense at the same time, mm. for example. Uh, and now you can not only select a costume, but if you move the joystick up, you can get the female version. Oh, nice. And if you move it left, <laughs> it mixes up the parts of the costume so you can come up with a new one. Oh, so something random. That's says, so cool. Anyway, hope you enjoy. That sounds like fun. Yes. <laughs> uh, so let's uh get into it and i think i have to use the reset oh yeah no it's not Bro. old <laughs> man noises <laughs> so you can pick strong blast radius radius clone, clone wind do we need a reminder what these are uh sure because i cannot remember radius is a new one i have no idea yeah. what it is um what are the other ones clone strong blast. you can Oh, well, we have to go through them one by one. Okay, start with... Start clone. With you create a clone of yourself which you can control and which attacks any criminal that it collides with. Mm. Okay, what's the next one? Wind is a new one. Don't know. Okay, uh, you didn't say. Strong. Strong, you charge your opponent for a powerful hand-to-hand -hand attack. Mm. Blast, you shoot ener energy blast to attack. Mm. Radius, don't know. Okay, so those are the we know. So let's try radius because we don't I have know. no idea what it is. Okay, so heal. this one is heal. That's, you gain back slowly lost health. Fly is fly over the buildings. Dazzle. Dazzle is you confuse your enemy by some means, causing them to move slower and shoot less often. Sometimes they even shoot each other. Mm. Okay. Cloak. You, sure. When you stand at the top of the combat area, the enemies won't see you and won't shoot. Okay. That's pretty good. Dodge. Uh, that's a new one. Don't know. 
Armor. Armor. Attacks do much less damage to you. Speed. You move faster in combat, making it easier to dodge attacks. Mm. Um, sense. You find crimes, clues, and distress more easily. That one was very helpful. Snare. Snare is a new one. I thought we had snare in the last one. Oh, oh it's up at attack powers. Yeah. You stretch your arms or shoot webs to trap your opponent. They will either eventually escape or exhaust themselves trying. Mm. Shift. Oh my god, so many. Yeah. Uh, you can change your shape. Mm. During the game, you can select what power you want to use, but only one power at a time. Mm. Attacks do less damage to you, so that is like a catch-all. You can switch it up and then heal. back to heal. Okay, so you can pick two of these. I'm going to pick... Um, hmm. Armor sounds good. Sense is really good, but we haven't tried some of the new ones. No. Shift. Heal. I'm going to... You pick two? Yeah. I always like heal. Um, yeah, heal's good because... Armor would be good too. Speed, sense. What was the one we didn't know? Snare, we don't... Oh, no. no snare. Shift, right? Shift, we know. Dodge. Dodge was... Dodge, we don't know. Okay, let's try dodge then. So this is your character picking. Nice. So way more detailed nice. graphics. Oh, and there's the female version. Nice. Got the long hair in there. So we've got Flash, Aquaman, don't know purple, uh, all black, uh, Bumblebee dude. I don't know that person. <laughs> I know that. Oh, slow down the thing. Okay. okay. Uh, Mr. Fantastic. Don't know. Uh, don't know. <laughs> Superman. That's Superman. Spider-Man. Yep. Uh, oh, Wonder it's Wonder Woman. Wonder Man. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. Wonder Woman. Batwoman. Bat Bat Batman. Batman. The uh, Hulk. The Hulk. Uh, oh, um, old old Wolverine. Yeah. In the yellow suit. Don't know. Batman. Old old Batman. No, no. Isn't it? I think the that's Black, Black Widow. Uh, Iron oh. Man, but it was male version of Iron Woman. <laughs> Captain America. Uh, uh, Green, Lantern. Green Lantern. So you got DC and Marvel, and then and Flash. The Flash. So we ran through all, all of them. Right. Uh, who do I want? Hat guy. The question. The question. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I think there's a guy with a question mark on his... I kind of want Wonder Man. <laughs> Wonder Man. <laughs> there you go. It's Wonder Man. That's awesome. So you okay. have to look around uh, looking for crimes and clues. I think clues are like uh, oh, some, uh, some yeah. jumpiness, a little yeah. bit of jumpiness. So you don't have flies. So you have to go around the buildings. multiple oh. screens oh i think there's one down there oh, and two goodness. over there that's new yeah so he's changed it from a uh, split screen yes to yes, full you're screen right. and then it must and it flips then you to get the fight hideout when you're in the yeah, yeah. which you know it was very nice and very cool to have the split screen but it does limit you only use one at a time so it kind of mm. is limiting at the same time i'm not finding anything that's the only thing yeah, that's the problem if you don't have sense. You really have to look around. You have to cover every pixel, or do you push every buttons? Every pixel. Every pixel. Every little pixel. Oh. Oh, saturation's a bit much. Oh my goodness, I'm always tweaking this. Hey, Darlin. <laughs> his color correction abilities? Yes. That's his superpower. It is his superpower. Let me see if I can just turn it down just a touch. Mm. Just a little bit. At 0.12 right now. Oh, that's better. That's better. I think RGB is going to be better because it has a, a wider range of color, so I don't have to adjust it as much. I don't remember it being. <laughs> oh, oh, you found one just by running into it. So you've got a clue on the bottom left there. It's a little mm -hmm. magnifying glass. The question, where is a trench coat and a hat like that? No, it's on a suit. That's the Riddler. Oh, the green. Yes, the yeah. green is the Riddler. But he's not a superhero. The Riddler? Yeah, he's a bad guy. But yeah, hey, you okay. can play bad guys. Why not? Maybe he's not the Riddler, <laughs> but it's definitely a good, um, a good guess. So you've got one clue. You need three total. 
Does the button do anything? Have you tried the button? No. Uh, no, the button, the button doesn't appear to do what anything. What if you hold I down the button? I think you just have to... No. No? I think you just have to randomly Search. hit that pixel. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, oh, got two got clues. A two <laughs> second clue. Let's try. Oh, oh, three. Is that enough? Why is the one flashing? I don't know. Um, All on the same line. Let's see. Oh, hideout. Found a hideout. Yeah, oh, so. there it is. Yeah, so it opens an entrance to a hideout. That's very cool. So you're in the hideout now. Can you shoot? Oh, we've got some sort of lasso power, <laughs> maybe. So try the doors. Well, your points are going up like crazy, so I, good, I, good oh, on you. This is why I'm having trouble. I'm like, why is it not going up? Scared the cat. Push it too hard. No. Oh, there they are. Ah! How? What? How do I? I think you have to wait for it to recharge. Where's how? Do, how do you know if it's recharged? No idea. There yeah. you go. You got them. Just avoid and then get them. All right. Got them. I think so. Try the other next room. What did I pick? Heal and armor. <gasps> Ooh. Yeah, Got bring the me money. the monies. Oh, you're about to roll over. I don't think the score's done yet. <laughs> it just rolled over from oh. 999,000 up to zero again. I think that's just in beta. That was pretty cool. Do you want to try... Well, that's a whole round. Yeah. So do you want to try different powers? Yeah, sure. That uh, is a big hitbox for the lasso. Yeah, pretty pretty cool, actually. We have to restart it. There is no reset. Mm. That is a big hitbox, Ready. but I think you need it mm -hmm. to get close enough. <laughs> that character looks more like Robin. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure that was Wonder Man. <laughs> you want to you want to choose this time around? Uh, sure. Yeah. It's pretty. Cute. It's really cute though. I really really like all the all the. the I think it works better. Like, I think this one's quite an improvement on it the is, other well, local uh, hero. Um, just by nature of the maze, yeah. Um, just just makes it a little bit harder to find the clues. Um, did we have wind? No. Uh, no, we haven't tried it. So. So I'll pick wind. Pick wind. Uh, I'm gonna pick fly because it's so much better. <laughs> or sense. Let's do sense. Sense is pretty good. So we can get. You get them quickly. And then we'll pick one else fly. we haven't done. Oh. No, no, no. One we haven't done. Uh. When we don't know about. Oh, I had dodge. Did I pick dodge? I think I picked Can't dodge. I think, I think you did. Snare? I think you picked snare. Did no. You? No? No. You can try snare. Well, what's the one we don't know? Stretch your arms or shoot your trap. Um, we know snare. We know heal. We know fly. I think, I, think we've tr I think we've tried them. Okay. So, just pick one. Uh, I had dodge. I okay. think I picked dodge. Still not sure what it did, but... Uh. Uh, uh, sense is so good. Mm -hmm. Didn't I already pick sense? Mm -hmm. You can have two senses? No, you have two, so you pick... But you can pick two senses, though. You... That seems a bit Yeah, maybe, maybe it needs to be dropped out I'm of gonna the, fly, the list. I'm going to go fly, then. Yeah, go fly. Fly is so good. Fly and sense combo. Yeah. Hey, Spinley, 1970. Hey, Spinley. Or oldie, old-timey boxer. Mm -hmm. Those words would be better with playfield graphics. Oh, like big full screen? Yeah. You could do it on this one yeah. because there's enough room. There's nothing interfering. Yeah. He, he really likes that look, though. Yeah, it is. It is unique. unique. It is unique. What do I want? Actually, you didn't even show mm -hmm. this option. Um, let's go. Uh, what was I looking for that? That you can combine. Suits. Oh, yeah. You push the button and you hold... No, no, no button. Oh. Just press left. So you can combine two suits. Oh, yeah. So if I'm, I can pick Iron Man, but then customize Iron Man. Mm. Iron Hulk. <laughs> Female Iron, whatever. Female Iron Wonder. Wonder Iron. Oh, she Wonder Iron. Yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> it's she Wonder Iron. That's just wrong, <laughs> Cafe Man oh, TT says. There you go. See, look at that. Sense is so good. I can see two things. Can you? Yeah. Look, right there. And then right there. 
Oh. It's so fast. And flying at the same time, done. I got all three. <laughs> oh, it's, it's the same It's the same hideout, so there's not a lot of uh, variety in there yet, but that's okay. But it's too powerful. Like, sense and fly? Wow. Yeah. But but you don't have any offensive <laughs> weapons if you mm. pick sense and fly. What do I have? Like, it's like I freak out. Hmm? <laughs> oh, I don't know what I that's about. I like flip back and forth. Um, you you can't actually use your power until you're. Oh, deadly! Oh my goodness. Oh, not charged up enough. There we go. Oh, no, not quite. And you, and if you can see, the player is so made up of two player characters, and that's why it's flickering. Wasn't my like score that. going crazy? It was. I think that's after you killed him. Was it? Yeah. So it does flicker every time Ooh. they shoot. Yeah. Oh, oh. Pushed him over to the left. Still, It's still in very early beta. Spin of death. Yeah. Oh, I, it is a spin of death. I'm like shooting them all over the place. Come on. Hmm. Recharge. It needs the recharge, I think. Hmm. So you know when you're charged up. Oh, come on. I killed the other guy like instantly. <laughs> that's health at the top. I'm guessing. Well, did you pick heal? Because yours was going up. Yeah, yes, mine's heal. that's what it was. Yeah, I did pick heal. Come on. There we go. Mm -hmm. Two money bags. I got two money bags. Did you? Yeah. Oh, I was looking away then. Yep. Yay. One's fainter than the other. Oh, I'm back. Yay. Good oh, stuff. There we go. Yeah, sense. So good. Mm -hmm. Sense and fly. Oh, that's level so two? there's going to be, um, I guess, uh, it's probably the same one over. Just, to, just no. to. Uh... No, oh. they, they weren't in the same oh. place. Oh no, it's not. Oh, See, you it's made different. me stop. <laughs> oh well. We that's get okay. It's like a robot. Yeah. That's cool. So different bad guys. Mm -hmm. No, not there. The same layout. Oh, more robots. Oh. I'm almost dead. Where's my health bar? Uh oh. Oh, you're invincible now. Oh, am I? Yeah. Possibly. Well, yeah, I guess when you're beta testing a game, it, you, it, you don't want to no die. There's no death screen. <laughs> Come on, spin of death. Oh. Yep, needs a health bar and an attack charge bar. Mm -hmm. I think that bar at the top was the health. Well, that was the health. And and obviously it hasn't it hasn't stopped the game. But yeah, it's just yeah. for testing. Yeah. Come on. Maybe you can't kill him room? now. Oh, the because other guy took dead. a long time. Oh, maybe. You're dead, so. Atari. Do my own spins. Atari! Oh. So, um, while you're trying to uh, spin attack your robot, <laughs> um, spin attack. we got a Amazon shipment, and when it first arrived, I had no, no clue what it was. I was, like, feeling it, and, like, it was this weird half-round thing. And, oh. <laughs> um, and opened it up and realized oh, that on. months ago we were watching a YouTube video. Yes. Where cats would hit bells and take treats. So, um, so cute. we ordered this little bell with like a round, kind of like a oh, bellhop bell, but it's a little flatter so that the cat can hit it. So we and figured colorful. it's colorful. Um, so we figured we'd give it a try with Pixel and Atari and see if we can, we can get them to hit the bell and when they want to ask get treats treat. and ask for a treat. Um, and we, we predicted, oh, come on, um, yeah, definitely some screen issues there. Yeah. Um, we predicted <laughs> that it would work Earth much Christ. better with Atari than it would with Pixel. Yes. Because, uh, to put, to quote the vet, Atari is very food motivated. <laughs> Uh, as many of us are. <laughs> yes. So, um, so we, I was watching some some videos and figuring Smart out. Color. It's quite jumpy, eh? Oh, it is kind of purple. Um, See, I change one thing and it changes another. Yeah. Oh no, that's still purple. It is purple. Um, anyway, I was watching videos and they're like, "Yeah, it'll take a few days. You have to ease them in." Um, Atari basically had it on day two, so. Yeah. <laughs> He, he was like, he what, the... I ring the bell and I get a treat? Boom. Oh, yeah. He's yeah. like, I understand this. <laughs> this makes sense. Yes. Yeah, so uh, once, Yay, once he gets better at it, we'll have to... We'll have do it to, on stream. We'll do it on stream. <laughs> Where's my money? Where's my money? You got Back it? in this room? Oh, oh no. more robots. Oh, I killed them right away. Weird. 
More robots. Ah. Okay. Oh, got that guy quick. I'll kill this last robot, but then if I if I encounter more, we'll move on. Because I don't know how many robots I have to kill. <laughs> too many robots. Yeah. Is overcycling intentional? Oh, no, 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 no. This is definitely a bug. Yeah. He has a lot of trouble with overcycling, and unfortunately nobody's helped him with it. <laughs> Not yet. And I can't help him with it. All I can say is make sure it's 262 lines. Mm. Um, Something's definitely going wrong with that, because the other ones you kill pretty quickly. Yeah, the guy at the top last time was hard to get to. I can kind of throw him around the room, which is kind of funny. There we go. Okay, there's no money. No. Okay, we're done. Um, he did ask for help in the forums. His name is... Um, uh, Satyr's Faction? Satyr's Faction. Um, so you can search for him for under local hero. And, um, yeah, so if somebody could help him, and I believe this is done in Batari Basic. There you go. Very cute. Very, very, very cute. Nice. I like it very much. It's a great start. Any any game where you can uh, customize s customize the look of your character is, 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 is fine by me. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, actually, I will. Oh, I don't have a link for that. Yeah, you just have to search for Satyr's Faction. Mm. Um, so the next game we're going to be playing is Stack Game. This is by Blue Swimmer. This is first posted June 25th. Nice. And this build is from two days ago, June 28th. He mm -hmm. is joining us in mm -hmm. the chat. I've seen him in the chat there. Load it up. Um, it's a 2K game. Uh, other games made by him, Balloon Trip, Birds and Beans. Mm -hmm. Load it up. Um, Cannonhead Clash, Dive Kick, Stack Game, and Tumble Temple. Nice. And you can download this now in the Atari Age forums. Um, and he posted over the past couple of days, I got bored and made one of those. Oh. Atari 2600. Let's actually go to the screen. There you go. There's my graphic for stack game. Um, uh, I got bored and made one of these stacking games for the Atari 2600. If you've ever seen a stacker arcade machine, you probably already know how this works. Essentially, all you need to do is time your button presses to stack the blocks as high as possible. The block platform... There we go. The block uh, platform gradually shrinks if you don't time your button presses perfectly, so accuracy is key. You can see it's kind of moving in a little bit. Uh, when making this, I made the conscious effort to stay below one kilobyte. As of now, there are 45 unused bytes of ROM and 58 bytes of unused RAM, including the call stack. I don't think this game is particularly interesting or original. It wouldn't surprise me if somebody already made a 2600 version of this type of game. I've seen a couple. Um, Terrible. This one's really... A, oh, no. Yeah, that killed 32. me. 32. Wow. Not great. Not great. I was watching watching this being played before, and yeah. so it did really well. Um, 32. That's not bad. Yeah, I've seen a couple of ones like this. Uh, I can't remember the other one. We might have played it on the show, but it moved really slow, and it was a little bit, a little bit too slow. This one's a good speed, and if you do miss it, it does come back. I almost want to be closer to the, oh, the screen. The color is like totally crazy wrong. What? It is. Why is it so green? You know, I shouldn't have changed it. It was only slightly off before. Oh, terrible. That's that's closer to what it's supposed to be. I need a full screen color chart to do it. I so really I make want sure to be every closer color to the screen there. playing this game. Sorry, Blue Swimmer. <laughs> Instead of blue and dark blue, this little more looks more green. Yeah, because I just altered it, and I I really shouldn't have been messing it with it during the show. But um, and it's going to be different for the next game. <laughs> um, as per usual, download is below. Um, let's see. But I hope you find it amusing regardless. It's oh, fun. It's really 22. fun. Oh. And then you did an update on... I want to be, like, this close so I can time it properly. It's hard from this oh, perfect. distance. It's, oh, it's, perfect. It is hard from this distance to do it. Is it? Yeah, is it's it's... harder than being closer to the screen. 
the game now has, uh, this is an update from Sunday. The game now has a PAL 60 and CCAM 60 version included below in the zip file. Additionally, the game's been optimized a bit further. Uh, so now it's 103 bytes of ROM free. Uh, not that it matters, of course, since the game is still exactly the same. Urgent edit. I just realized the game doesn't work on the Harmony cartridge due to the weird file size. I've expanded the game into two kilobytes, but the game is still over one kilobyte, over a one kilobyte free. So this, is, this game is under 1K, um, but there's like minimum sizes that the Harmony expects. 26. Did you do best on your first round? You did 32, didn't 32, you? 32, yeah. <laughs> you need to, you need, yeah, Viagra. Palette demo, yeah. <laughs> you, it, it's easier to be closer. If you're closer, you can time. I think it's a little easier. I may but. have that palette demo yeah. on the cartridge because I keep demos on the cartridge. So I will look at that after it this game. It looks pretty good now, though. It looks a lot better. It's so saturated. Oh, that's okay. Uh, it's It's at least the right color. Oh, oh, that's really close. That's yeah, really close. that is pretty close. 67. Well, you did make the game. <laughs> You'll probably do better. Oh. It's harder from the distance because I think, I think I really want to be like right up close to time it. Um, and it gives you a very familiar blue swimmer sound. Yeah. When you get it right. He's used that in the in I like game. that though. I like, I you need the... You need the, um, you're doing better than I am. Um, really? Yeah, I think so. I'm missing it almost every time. Oh, I feel like I am too. Um, you need, uh, you need the encourage, that encouraging tone, like, oh, you, you got do. it. You, you need got a it. Good you're tone. doing better than me. Uh, uh, uh. Blue Swimmer, what are these made of? Are these, they're not play field, obviously. Um, are they just um, player characters? Ooh, doing really well. 40. Ah. When ah. it gets small, it gets really hard. Nice. 43. That's pretty good. Combo of players and missiles. Okay. Very, mm. very cool. Mm -hmm. 43. Let's beat that. Ugh. Oh. Every night. Every night. What is that? Jangly, jangly. Oh, someone just getting their getting their bottles. Getting, going down getting the road. Their bottles. But it's like I never I never noticed it before, but it seems every night. Every now. night. Yeah. Must be a new route. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing worse. Oh, yay! One right. Oh. It gets harder. It's like the first time you do it, it's easier, and then it gets harder. Yes. I don't know why that is, but it, it's uh, just... It, it's harder the second round. It's easiest the first. Oh, my God. <laughs> one more. Pretty nifty. I can barely blank the screen with 1K. Yeah. <laughs> it, it gets a little faster as it goes on. That makes sense. It, it, yeah. it, it, it increases the difficulty. As it should. Yeah. Neat. I mean in general, like whether you're doing well or not, it increases the speed. It says it just gets a little faster as it goes on. Okay. Which is yeah, that makes sense. Because if somebody's able to do it perfectly Well then it's just time. You need to yeah, then it's it just It becomes a metronome, but actually if it speeds up it gets harder because you your brain has to adjust to it a little bit, so that makes sense. So oh, good. Ooh, good. Nice string there. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 Yeah, because the timing changes when it's speeding up. Good job. It gets harder as it gets smaller, I feel. Fifty-four. What did, good. Who, what did they say they got? Sixty-two. One more attempt for you. Beat sure. fifty-four. Oh, I can't. 
I'd love a cart with a new collection of tiny games. That would be a great thing. Like games like this, just a bunch of simple games, just like um, Thomas Ye Thomas Yance's uh, Swoops. Just press the button. Just press the button anytime. There we go. Over fifty. Where's my patch? <laughs> he wants his world patch record. for every game. Yeah. No, it's not a world record. He, whoever said sixty something. A uh, blue swimmer. Blue swimmer. Yeah, he doesn't qualify. It's his game. <laughs> should you have your Should you have the world record in your own game? Should yes. that qualify? Yeah, why not? Uh, you kind of know your game so well. Yeah. You might know like little things that you don't tell anybody that you See, can kind of cheat. Hit the button. What do you think, chat? Should you be able to qualify for your own world record in your own game? In general, probably yes. <laughs> Somebody will probably beat me at some point. Yeah, if I practiced a bit more, did did more runs, I, I could get it up higher than that. Because I think I, I, was, I was doing really well in the last game and starting to really get a lot of matches in a row. I was doing really well until you started talking. Oh, no. <laughs> now started talking? Yes. Well, you gotta be able to play talking. That's true. <laughs> uh, it's amusing that it has a six digit score. Does the score turn to 40. exclamation, That's exclamation, than the last exclamation time. if you get a million? Yeah. Only blue swimmer knows. <laughs> Forty yeah, the, It is amusing it has six uh, six digits. Now yeah. we're gonna move on. To okay. I think we've uh, done our uh, due diligence on this game. Very, very fun. It just both rolls back around to zero. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Um, so the next mm -hmm. game is... Uh, oh, switched to early. Dog Gone It. 2020. Just came out June 28th, two days ago. It's by mm -hmm. Andrew Armscar Coder. Mm -hmm. It's a 4K game. Um... It's the only game I know that he's made. He's, mm -hmm. he's actually pretty new to the forums, nice. I believe. Yeah. Um, you can download this. In the, actually, we're going to... Actually, that's pretty close. I'm not going to touch it. Ah. It's pretty good. Leave it. Leave it. He, he's kind of orange, and he should be uh, red. Don't, don't touch. mess with it. Don't touch. Oh, changed. Yeah. Um, Doggone it. 4K. NTSC. Assembler. Assembly. One player. That's nice. When they put that in the... In the header what how they made it i made it an mm. assembler all the all the details and how big it is um after growing let's see let me just uh see if i can find instructions oh no this one actually has printed instructions is that music that i can't hear oh, oh it's really quiet you have to turn it up everyone oh very quiet Good call. I'm like, I, I hear something. Is it in my head? No, it's actually coming from the game. Yeah, it's really quiet. Um, Doggone It is a one-player game. You control Hank, a delivery driver, who mm. suffers from sinophobia, fear of dogs. <laughs> Hank must grab packages one at a time from the back of his truck and deliver them to the recipients at the bottom of the screen. Mm. When Hank is touched by a dog, he will lose a package. <gasps> if carrying one and become temporarily paralyzed. The number of packages to be delivered is displayed on the truck and counts down as packages are delivered. Hank must deliver all the packages before the truck gets to the end of the street and the game ends, mm. or the game ends. There are three levels on Hank's route. One, once all three levels are complete, the route starts over with increased difficulty. So those are the basics. And the colors, pretty good. So avoid the dog, deliver the package, go back, get another package. Um, controls. Use the left joystick to move Hank up, down, left, and right. Press the fire button to start a new level. To active, activate power-up, get the kitty. Get the kitty. You get the kitty? Get the kitty. Does it matter when? Oh. Crazy Culvert Kitty. If Hank pets Crazy Culvert Kitty, when she walks from one culvert to the other, a randomly chosen power-up is stored in Hank's power pocket and would be depicted by its respective icon. So you've got one there. It's fast feet. Hank is enabled with super speed. 
Um, the stored up power can be activated anytime by pressing the power uh, fire button, except when a power up is already activated. So you activated it. Mm -hmm. Got your super. Just to see what would happen. Got then? your super speed. Very nice. If Hank is already has a power up stored and pets crazy Culver Kitty, a random power up will be active immediately. Mm. So you can't have two stored up. It'll just activate one on a random one automatically. It may or may not be the same as the stored power up. Um, so right now it says empty, no power up. Uh, one is a truck pause, so it'll have a little truck um, as the icon. Get that kitty. Pet that cat. Oh, you got super speed again. Uh, times two is a uh, double package, so you deliver mm. two at the same time. And uh, one is dog invincibility, so that's a good one. So you got the super speed, which is good to activate just excellent. about any time. I like that you pet a cat in this. Needs to be more too. games with cats in them. Uh, it's like Paperboy has grown up and become a UPS driver. <laughs> Yeah. Nice. Paperboy, too. <laughs> um, uh, no! Oh, you lost your package. No! Yeah. Those dogs are fast. Those look like poodles. Fast poodles. So, 200 points for a package delivered. 500 po points when a package delivered while well, double packages power up is activated. 1,000 points if there's an unused power up in the po power pocket carried over to the next level. Mm. So don't always use it. You get a lot of points. Now there's two dogs. Stinky dogs? I don't know. Rabid dogs? What's wrong with those dogs? I don't know. Those dogs look... Oh, there's a kitty! Um, hot dogs. <laughs> They're hot dogs. So that's, the, that's the steam coming off the dogs. Oh, so you got invincibility. Dog invincibility. Great instruction um, sheet here. Looks great. Uh, labels everything. Very, very clean. Um, some hints. Finish the level quickly to maximize your truck bonus points. And hold on to your pocketed power up for the thousand point bonus at the start of the next level. Uh, on level two, when Hank strikes the gong in the middle of the room, the therapy dogs will pause. What? There's a gong? We didn't see that. And they're therapy dogs? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. The poodles are kind of therapy dogs. Oh, and that's uh, that guy's name's Oliver at okay. the bottom. And on level two is Dr. H and Dr. C. Oh, so there's different areas. It doesn't say what this area is. It looks just like a park. Yeah, kind of a park with a house. Or just a very big front yard. This could be Run. the washroom. That could be the washroom in the park, yeah. Um, five does not equal two times 200. Odd to call it double package power-up. Uh, it's more than double. That's true. You get a bonus. You get a bonus. Yeah. Double package. Oh, did you use a power-up? What was it? Yeah, double package. Ah. Boom. Ah, three to one. Wait for the dog to pass. Where are you going? Shoulders caught. Um, when a power-up is active, listen for the quickening of the power-up sound, indicating that there are only three seconds um, of the power-up remaining. So you can tell. Done. Well, that's a bonus. Because mm -hmm. you kind of skipped a package. What if it's better to skip a package or save the power-up? It depends. So those are the poodles. Uh, those are the oh, that's the gong. Uh, oh, therapy dogs. It. Definitely uh, worth hitting that gong if it's in your kind of funny. line of sight. So that's Doctor C, and yeah. Doctor H was just before. Needs a dog gonnet patch. Ooh, yes, in the shape of a bone. There you go. Oh, guess you can't gong it while you have a package. Get that no, I did. I think it, there's probably a time delay before you can do it again. Oh, dogs are immune to it. So you have a lot of packages to deliver now. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you're going to make it this time. Hurry, 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 hurry. Crazy covert kitty. Oh, yeah, there's yeah, there's always a kitty, right? Yeah. Um, Spindly1970 says, looks fun. Uh, Rena Foot, so I haven't uh, added these to the current yet ga games yet, Mark Space. 
Um, yeah, these are brand new games, so um, like this is two days old. Oh, can you only use the gong once per room? That makes more uh, sense. Okay, I don't Arm know if it says coder. that. Hmm. Uh, would be an improvement for there to be some indicator if you're carrying a package or not. Oh, um, no, you can see. It's, it's orange. Yeah. It, yeah, you can see it in your character's arms. Yeah. It uh, turns orange, so mm -hmm. it does have a very... Yeah, you can tell. ...a good indicator. Oh, those stinky dogs. Oh, they're, they're all hot stinky. and stinky. Stinky They've got dogs. stink lines. Stink lines. Stink lines. Cartoon stink lines. Ah, get it through. I what those are. Cars? Mm -hmm. Therapy beds? Waiting? Chairs? I don't think this is a therapy room. They're just You've hot got dogs. a package still. What? Yeah, you didn't deliver it. Maybe he oh, moved. May must have. Yeah, that, was a... that was dirty. Well, at least you got double package. Mm-hmm. Or else you're gonna... At least one double package. You should have the UPS guy kick the package like Pepe's <laughs> soccer as he delivers it to the customer. Yeah. yeah. Kicks Ooh. it across the screen a little bit. Oh, oh no, oh, we got me. no, you're oh, in trouble. No. Oh, you no. are in trouble. Uh, to deliver the same package yeah it doesn't disappear no, no. It's like you have to do it again it, the dog's like take it from you and take it back to the truck <laughs> so we're in the novice position mm -hmm. to hear hank's footsteps um or if the sound of the footsteps uh, get on your nerves you can change it to a expert mm -hmm. um a is advanced actually and B is beginner. Oh. Ooh! He went right for me this time. Oh, they're right around six packages. Oh, my God. That's a lot of packages. And that's a very fast dog. Oh. oh, my goodness. So you got a lot more packages to deliver. And the dog is going crazy. Get that kitty. Pet that kitty. Oh, oh. it doesn't matter. I don't have a package. Do you lose points? No. Or just slows you down? Well, I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> oh, double package. That's good good to do it right as you arrive yes because then you can just go and you're still invincible or you just nothing ah! no you don't lose points so if you're gonna get hit by the dog get hit by the dog on the way back yeah, not on the way oh back. do you still have double package yeah get it get it get it oh my god you can get two double packages you time it smart that should be in the hints ah! Ah! that should be in dog. the hints doggy treat is a power up Ooh, yeah, that's another power up. I don't know what that would do. Is already a dog, dog invincibility? Yeah, there is dog invincibility. You could have the dog pause instead, yeah. I guess. Um, yeah, this is really, really creative. There's a lot yeah. of things happening and a lot of options, a lot of power ups. Um, I like the dogs and the cats. Well, there's your gong usage. That's okay. Not too long, but enough, enough to get by. Yeah, these guys are all over the place. Ah! <laughs> There's a kitty. Get that kitty. When Tanya and I go for walks, <laughs> we look for cats. Yes, we do. And uh, we count them. <laughs> and we judge the... Um, oh, no. No, they're they're very erratic. We, dr we judge the quality of the walk by the number of cats. Yeah, it's true. That uh, run by the number of cats we see. So we say, oh, it was a good walk. We saw two cats. It was a four cat walk. Four you know? cat it walk. It was exceptional. Exceptional. It was is an four. exceptional four cat walk. Two that is day. two is good. One's fine. Two a zero is terrible. Like a zero cat walk is just get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Nice, just in time. Or does it always switch when you touch the guy? Or no? Yes, okay. on this level it does. Yeah. The dog sprite is bigger than the player sprite. Yeah, they are really fast. Fast dog, so you you can make it just barely. No. Does the truck go all the way to the? Oh, get that kitty! Get that kitty! Get that kitty! What is that? Uh, truck pauses, gives Hank more time, which is good for this. Oh, oh. no! You're definitely good oh. now. They're a little erratic. It's really hard to tell exactly which way they're gonna go. It's good to be on the edge of the screen, because then it gives you more. Nope. Not really more time. Oh, whoa, they almost bit you. Get over to the other side. Ah, oh. other side of the screen. Oh, that was close. That was close. I think she used the gong right away. I used it once, yeah. I think, already. 
I thought it was just a bunch of dog pee. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize the gong mechanic when I played this. Ah, uh, yep. I didn't either. Ugh. Oh, yeah, that's not a good spot. Pet that cat. I always do try and pet the cats, too. Sometimes they don't come over. They're like, they're busy. They're doing cat things. Yeah, they're just like, eh. This, this cat's very friendly. I've got my cat priorities It's a ditch here. cat. What is it's it called? It's a ditch cat. Culvert kitty. <laughs> Boy. I think the edges are easier actually. This one has a really big edge. That one's yeah. And those dogs don't go down to the bottom, so no. it's pretty safe. We got a lot of packages to do. Oh, that's really hard. But it's a long way around if you go on the edge. That's the that's the trade-off. I don't think I read all the info. Let's see. Um after growing up in the Atari 2600 in the 80s, this is from our Am Armscar Coder, who's in the chat. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, I rediscovered it a while back. I obtained a light sixer from a local gaming store, started collecting games. Soon I became curious to see what it would take to make a game. I had an idea for one based on some real life events. Uh, were you a package delivery person? Must have been. Or interacted with You should with chat one? with the Darcy about that. That's right. Yeah, he should have been uh, playing this one. Darcy, Darcy you did worked. this for a long... Oh! oh! Just caught your dad. You're yeah, not going to this level. Unless you get a pause. I, that, I, it's already oh. in a pause, but... Yeah, you're going to have to get a double package. Or something. Oh, go, 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 go. Go, 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 yeah, go, I don't go. think it's going to happen. No. Because as soon as it hits that a culvert... Little, a little rough. What are you doing? The edges. You, they hit you far less when you run yeah. across on the, on the edges, unfortunately. Once well, I stumbled onto the Atari homebrew seat and I took a plunge and decided to make the game. To pay homage to those early developers that brought me so much joy as a kid, I decided to make it in an assembly and limit the size to 4K. This is really good for 4K. There's a lot Hard. going on. One no. left. I no. don't think you can even get... Oh, oh cute! On it. Cute oh, that's not the right color. I'm going to be right back. Did Sorry. you press the button? Nope. Oh, that Just was very short. Up. Yeah. Just that needs to be up. longer on the screen. Uh, you can't move. Um, or do you have lives? No, it's just one. Um, I decided to make it in assembly and limit the size to 4K. After teaching myself assembly, adjusting game mechanics as I learned the programming limitations, and more than just a few screen rolls later, I would like to share my game, doggone it, with the Atari Age community. Have it, after having an inner, inner circle of game testers play the game and after a few revisions already taken place, I'm considering this version to be the final release candidate. I welcome any feedback, suggestions, and of course, discovery of any bug, bugs issues. I also would be interested in your best scores. I guess you want it to come back to this screen because it's got the score on it. So that makes sense. Just to flash up the, uh, the dog. It is a very long game. Like, this is her first playthrough. I don't know if you want to make it a little harder to 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 play because how long was she playing for like 15 minutes it was quite quite long um it's fine shows the game over screen then shows your high score yeah i just realized that you have to go back to the high uh the, the score on the screen um and the the last screen which is good um well there's a story behind the game and my atari age display name arm arm scar coder I would rather focus on the gameplay for now. My graphical designer is currently working on developing artwork and a manual that will include more background on the game's story. In the meantime, I've thrown together a quick start guide, which is great. Um, in this post, presenting a condensed version of the essential information. If there are any game elements that are not clear, I will certainly attempt to address them in this forum. Uh, thanks and enjoy. Um, as Carl, and then he added, as Carl G pointed out, petting the crazy culvert kitty earned you a power up that can be triggered as a fire button. Um, yeah, yep, yep, yep. I think you covered that in your printout. Mm, yep, yep, you covered everything. This, this is, this is great. There's no screen rolls. Um, as far as I can tell. Um, the only thing is, it is, it is a long, long game. Like, maybe it's too easy? I don't know what you guys think about, um, how long games should run for or how hard they should be, or how long a beginner should be able to play for. Um, don't know. 
dog equals Marmaduke. Definitely. It's a huge dog. It's a big, big, big dog. Yeah, I kept it a little on the easier side for my kids. Oh, okay, so there's a there's a reason behind the So you and it would be a very friendly kids game. It's it's colorful. It's got a lot of fun characters in it. And um it's got cats, it's got dogs, it's got delivering packages. It's very simple to understand and pick up. Pick up and play. Oh, I got the bonus. That's, that's quite a bit, a thousand points. Did I get the bonus? Oh, there it is. Oh, so it rewards you. Do you keep it? And you keep the bonus. Oh, well then it's definitely well worth it. Let's ring that gong. So you get to keep the bonus if you uh, carry it over. Tanya. Yeah? Yeah, so it's well, well worth keeping it because then you can use it right away if you want. Oh. I, uh, switch, switch, come on, switch, 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 switch. Oh. Now I have to wait. You, I know you don't have to use it right away. No, but um, it's good to wait for an uh, opportune time, right? How long does it take to switch over? <laughs> ah, no, bad poodles, bad therapy dog. The gong. Oh. No, I already did. Oh, too late. Hey, Pixel. Oh, it's an angry pixel. Angry pixel. I don't want this. I don't want this. <laughs> oh, come here. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, he caught me. Caught my hat. I'm just going to play a little bit of it. Yeah. Just to play it because I didn't get a chance to play it before the show. Nope. No! <laughs> just want to finish this level. Yeah, yeah, that's all good. Go, go, go. No. Doggy, stay the away. The UPS guy's speed reminds me of E.T. He is <laughs> he is really slow. Like, he is really slow relative to the dogs. Hit the gong. I did hit the gong right away. Like, the first thing I did. Mm. And then I'll play just a touch of this to see what it's like to play the stinky dog level. Mm. Stink lines. Stink lines. <laughs> the hot dogs. The hot dogs. I love it. I love how their color looks transparent. Yeah, because they're... Um, constantly um flashing mm. so that they don't have to not flash and flash mm. thomas yanch was uh, talking about that when we interviewed him it's mm. like he's saying if you're going to flash something it's usually better to constantly flash them mm. if they're going to be flashing most of the time anyway because there's two dogs and there's me there's a chance we're all going to be on the same line together at some point so instead of it changing suddenly because you're on yeah. the same line yeah that makes sense and they look fine. Being... The gong. Oh, you can hit it again after going back to the street, so you can repeat it, repeatedly oh, I... hit it. You just can't hit it more than once in one pass, I oh, guess. Oh, I thought yeah. it was once per level. Okay. Good. I played all three levels then. So the next uh, game is a two-player game. So we're going to get the second joystick out. Thank you so much yeah. for making that game. It's a game. really fun game. It's really cute. And it's it feels well executed. Like it's yeah, each well level is out. good and it feels balanced and it gets harder as you go along and they get a little faster. More erratic. Yeah. yeah. Miss Command, looks like you finally got your t-shirts. Yeah. We did. <laughs> we did Yay. finally get our t-shirts. They're awesome. They're just as good as I thought they would be. And um, yeah, they're yeah. great. They're wonderful. Yeah. Great colors. Yeah. <laughs> um, so load up robot tag. Robot tag. Oh, RC70 says mine come Thursday. Oh, excellent. Glad people are getting their shirts. Finally. I actually ordered a shirt for my dad for his birthday. Yes, from the same company. From the same company, and it was sent to Ontario, and it took, I don't know, two months at least to get there. So they're shipping so to Canada. They're shipping is not a little good. faster now. But, okay, this is two player. I'm just going to adjust it for this one. Yeah. Just because it's really dark and it needs to be more red, more red. <laughs> See, that's mm. closer and then the color's a bit off. The guy needs to be a little bit purple. Pink. You look, pink. it looks really purple. 
The blue exactly. guy looks really purple. <laughs> See, that's Everyone's that's exactly. Critic. Yeah, that's better. Yeah. All right. Um. Okay, this is Robot Tag, uh, 2020 Work in Progress by Carl Garrison, uh, Carl G. Uh, first posted June 23rd, 2020. This build is from June 29th, 2020. It's a 4K game. Carl G joins us in the chat. Nice. Other games by Carl G. Cannons, Toy Shop, Terminator, Space Game, Penalt, and Robot Tag. The massive, massive undertaking that is Penalt. Um, you can download this in the Atari Age forums. Um, he posts on June 23rd, this is a quickly put together game that I made as a break from my main work in progress, which is penult. Uh, it's a two player tag game. Mm. A tag game has been on my mind for a while and seeing Omega Matrix create a tag mini game yes. as part of his crazy that tunes was very collection. Cool. Yeah, that game. Yeah. Inspire me to try my hand at my own version of tag. Mm. As with the standard game of tag, the player who is it chases the other player. If the robot who is it tags uh collides with the other robot the tagged robot becomes it mm. and both robots return to spawn points the robot who is it and their score is more brightly colored so now we've got the 15 and zero mm. zero and an it marker pixel is above their score uh, okay i can okay. see it's very tiny very very tiny um scoring robot scores points for each time spent not being it mm. and the game ends when one of the robots reach 15 points I see 15 and 0. I'm not sure what that's about just yet. Turbo. Players may press the button to enable turbo mode for their robot to catch or run away from the other robot. Oh. Turbo mode causes the robot to heat up. So watch the heat indicator above the score. The length of the heat indicator shows how much the robot has heated. And the color is another indicator. Green is safe, yellow is warning, red is close to overheating. Mm. The robot may only cool down when it's not moving. Oh, so it has to completely stop. Yep. If the robot okay. uses turbo for too long without cooling down, they may overheat. Overheating robots are immobile for a couple seconds until they cool down. Mm. And, um, and then he posted an update. After playing it for a bit, I'm not sure if the concept works very well. Maybe with some more defined play fields instead of randomly generated ones I do now. Anyway, I added a ver version 2, which just adds a restart on joystick button fire feature to reduce the annoyance for zero-page homebrew on the show. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. No, uh, no annoying groaning as I get up to press game reset. Okay. Ready. So I am blue, and I am... Am I it? Oh. Are you it? You're it. Blue, because I'm blue with the dot? Because you got the dot. Okay, so I have to chase you. You have four points. Oh, you got there me. There we go. Oh, okay, I see. So it's the count that it speeds up. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is ugh, I hate when you have obstacles like this. <laughs> you just go round and round and round. Ugh. <laughs> I'm just getting points. You can sit there and cool down if ugh, you want. It's annoying. First to fifteen, I believe. How do you get more points? You Don't just you have to not hit them? be it. Oh. It's, the longer is, yeah. you not get caught. You just run around in circles. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's kind of a problem. But you, you can speed up and try and catch me. Well, yeah, but... It's going to overheat, though, eventually. Yeah, so you won. Yeah. Da -da -da. Okay, play again. Okay. You're it. Yep. Nope, can't get through that. Ugh, yeah, no, I'm already... I'm just gonna run around in circles. <laughs> That's all it's gonna be. Running around in circles. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
<laughs> that I overheat. I don't, I don't, yeah. Turbo would allow you to pass through obstacles. Ooh, yeah, that would be good. yes. That would work. Mm. Because then it gets crazy. You're exactly the same speed. That's you kind are. of the problem. Oh, yes. The person chasing you should be a little, a bit, little bit faster. faster. Because then you can't just do this, right? Yeah. Yeah, that would help. Okay, first again. Okay, I'm going to let you tag me. Well, it doesn't matter. I mean, you I tagged see, me once. That's all I, it is. Because I want to see if you can do the same thing and, and avoid me the whole time. Oh, that's not fair. What is not fair? I have the same exact power as you No, do. I, I... Oh, see, that was just stupid. Okay, let's um, switch again. I want to see how hard it is to, to chase no, the person. No, because you... The problem here is there's no obstacle to go round and round on. Depends on the all, obstacle. All these things you No, can I couldn't get around. I was stuck in a corner there, and then I backed back up, is what I'm saying. Okay. So, like, here. Oh, he got me again. And that backed me in a corner. I couldn't go around it. Okay. Switch. Switch off. Switch off. Hmm? I want to be the person chasing you. All right. Because I was able to avoid you indefinitely every yeah. single time. circular obstacle oh sorry i didn't realize i thought you were dead <laughs> nope um okay, switch off again oh this one i have nothing to circle around this is see that's a dead end oh okay come down you could do that side um granted the mazes are pretty hard to generate yeah mazes yeah. are hard because you have to test them almost yourself the computer has to test them mm. um that's why a lot of people go with static mazes like pre-generated ones so there's like oh this yeah this configuration yeah. and then this configuration that might be a, a yeah, good idea to do we were playing and we were just going round and round but and like if I you would, have that yeah. then you just you can just go round and round and round but circle. i would try the game balancing first and before you'd get rid of that because i like randomly stuff like the yeah. person chasing is a little bit faster and maybe they can and when you press the button you can go through things something like that or the person chasing can go through things if they press a button yeah yeah just make it a little bit more in favor of the person chasing just a tiny 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 bit or, or allow the person chasing to speed up and the person um running away to run through walls oh and then give them different different the benefits abilities? yeah, yeah. So one's, yep. one's jumping through walls and the other's trying to chase and catch them. Yep. Something or, like that. Or make them yep. all variations. Yep. And then, you know, the testers can go, well, yeah. this one was Try this. this, and this. This one was the best. This yeah. one is more balanced. Or one can be, you know, played as a handicap version. Yeah. So that what if, if one person's a lot better than the other? Like if you're playing like a, a younger kid who's just starting out, you can give them a big advantage. Yeah. And a lot of the early... A lot of Atari games are like that, mm. where you can make one one person plays as like the kids' version, the other yeah. one plays the much harder version. Mm -hmm. Just got the notification. Oh my goodness, Mister Vix! <laughs> it's almost the end of the show. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that sucks. Did it just pop up as you were using your device, or was it like you turned on your device and, <laughs> and it was there? Because okay. we're way That's in. That's Twitch. 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 Uh sends a notification so if you're not staring at it yeah mm. uh cafe man 2d the chaser should have a bit more turbo or or maybe that yeah the chaser could have more turbo um the chaser yeah yeah, that, that. yeah. yeah mazes are hard <laughs> so i think we got this one mm. let's press again oh we're starting oh you already have points <laughs> Uh, 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 stuck. Uh, 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 uh. Oh yeah, very stuck. But I love the mechanic of speeding up and having to cool down. It's a really good mechanic. But the cool down cools you down all the way, which is really interesting. You can have them both have turbo, but the chaser cools down faster. That as well, like any of these combinations would do it. I think you also need the chaser to move faster 
or go through the walls or otherwise it'd be hard to catch. If you, a lot of have, if you have a lot of variations, then you can have Omega Matrix do the title selection <laughs> screen. It does do very nice yeah. uh, title, title screens. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. That is a fun run through of that game. Mm -hmm. um, great start. Um, I think just with a little bit more balancing, I think it can be a really good game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so... We played Local Hero 2. Also very good start. Um, it's got some jumpiness to it, though. That needs to be fixed. Um, and more additional. Actually, it's got some levels to it, but it just needs some game balancing, some play testing. Maybe if he releases it to the world, they'll be able to do that. Because uh, there's a lot of robots in level 2. Probably a little too many robots. Yes. Yeah, and some of the... Some of the things that you can pick are very good, like fly and sense. Yeah. I pick that every time because you can just clean up and go clean straight up, to the clean, guys. Clean up the um, the maze level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So quick. Yeah. Like you can do it right away. Just fly through. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. But wonderful concept. Oh my God, yes. It's so yeah. funny to see a game like that where you can pick your character completely oh like on God. an Atari game. I think that's just brilliant. I just think that's Never adorable. Never seen that I before. Love it. I love that's it. so unique. Yeah, yeah. And his game's... His games are so unique. All of his, all of his um, sprites or characters in them so are just good. so cool. Yeah. 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 Um, the stat game, very simple, does what it advertises. Mm. Um, it's challenging enough that it has a lot of replayability. Mm. Um, it's, it's one of those short, played over and over again games. Mm. Um, really, really fun mm -hmm. and small, under 1K. It's like, it's, yeah, that game could be on your phone or, you know what I, like, there's One just something button. about it. It's, it's just so simple and yeah. challenging at the same time. So, yeah, yeah it's one of those really addictive good. type good games. Good job, Blue Swimmer. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Dog Gone It. Fun, fun, colorful game with lots of really well different conceived. levels. Yeah. Amazing for 4K that yeah. you're able to fit three different screens into it. Yeah. Having all those power ups. I truck going by a yeah. cat three different types of dogs uh, yeah. <laughs> and like how many different characters four different characters you have to deliver to it's it's incredible for 4k um and i can see it being fun for kids like he said he made it for his kids yeah um so it's easy for his kids yeah party yeah. games that's yeah. a good name yeah, for it party games yeah and one one day on the show i'm gonna do categorizations and play my best, my favorite games yeah. of each category. Of each category. So okay. I'm going to compile like party games yeah. or shooters or my favorite platformers mm -hmm. or my favorite puzzle games and do a show on those specifically and just do like that, one yeah. show dedicated to that. Yeah. And of course have my favorite multiplayer games and we'll have all, well, all four people. We need, we need to get all four of us. Yeah. How likely that that is in the well, next little while. Who knows? We'll see. Yeah, I don't know. But it's sometime in the future. Sometime in the future. Yeah. yeah. And we'll do it on Friday when Darcy can be here. Yes. And, and hopefully we can drag Erlen in. Drag <laughs> Erlen. You'll be here. From, and... his, from his active social life. That's and... right. We'll do it in the evening. <laughs> yeah. Um, or even on a Saturday because Darcy usually stays over. Yes. Um, and we can do it then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You could just plan, <laughs> spend yeah. three play play, hours playing, playing Warlords. Warlords. Yeah. Yep. You well, could. do the homebrew version of it, which mm -hmm. is... Uh, <sighs> Castle... No, what's it called? I always forget it. Yeah. Castle, something castle. Yeah. Castle something. Yeah, 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 yeah. By Daryl Spice Jr. Yeah. Yeah. Medieval Mayhem. It's not medieval, castle at yeah, all. Yeah, I'm like, I keep thinking castles. Yeah, yes, there we go. Mayhem. Thank you. Yes. Medieval Mayhem. Yes, yes, four player games. Excellent. There's not many four player games. Medieval Mayhem is one of the only. It's so good, though. It's such a good four player but, game. But two players and handing off. Is, yes. is good yeah um and when um i'll probably save that one till last because the quad tari hopefully will be out mm -hmm. there's still no four, four player games yet those will be the sports games yes and are you still up for a football episode game? like what football what kind there's of like football four... american football oh, or yeah, like soccer american. no 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 american football. okay because you said you know football. You I, know I the didn't. Rules. No, 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 no. <laughs> Let me be very clear. I don't know football. Yes. I generally know football. <laughs> okay. Well, you're probably the best. I, best I, bet. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Because I've I, I know started the general concept. Because after you it, so said that, I haven't watched a football game in forever. I've started compiling yeah. the football 
homebrew football games for the 2600. And I think I had four. Okay. Football okay. games. Yeah. Um, some are like really simplified ones yeah. where it's like back ones like backyard football. Okay. Where it's like a couple people and some of them are more simulator style. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So not real football, no. No. Hand egg. Hand egg. As <laughs> as the youth people in the UK UK call it. <laughs> hand egg came. Because it's not a lot of not a lot of foot and a lot not a lot of ball. Uh, yeah. It's more of an egg shape and you're doing a lot of holding of it. I love so that. It's, it's hand egg. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep, blip blip is one of it. Uh, one of them. And then backyard football and there's there's two more. It's yeah. in my it's in the schedule. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, no, we'll do that. I'm fine. So you might with that. have to brush up. <laughs> on your football yeah. knowledge i, I definitely I, have to have... i will remind myself of the rules but i do i do have yeah i, I probably know more than you do which is kind of i know zero actually i know that they run around <laughs> they try and kick it between the goal posts and they try and run to the end all i know that's all i know <laughs> i was gonna say my most recent references to football are those um what is it uh where they where they redo the speaking of people that oh. YouTube channel what's it called? Uh, lip syncing. Oh, lip bad lip sync. Bad lip sync. Oh God, they're that's, so funny. That's about as much as I watch so, football. Those are so so funny. Yeah, Arena Foot says football. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Arena Foot can join us and yeah, Arena basically can scream at us at everything that we're saying wrong and and doing yes, it correctly. Yes, he, cor <laughs> he can correct us. He can correct us. So Arena Foot, I've gone through your list searching for foot. <laughs> football so if you can take a look at my planned the yoda thing yeah 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 the Sorry. yoda guys the, the yoda yeah if you can look at my planned episode for football uh, and make sure i've got all the homebrew football games i think i have four at least on there but i might have missed one but i look through your list mm. yeah the yoda thing makes me cry laughing yeah it's pretty funny yeah. um so let's with the seagulls yeah. yes <laughs> those seagulls oh god always in your face oh actually i can take a look at it now <laughs> so um, good so what i have for the football where is it hmm. let's play four paddle multiplayer marathon one jesus where'd it go i'm gonna search for football ea sports presents atari madden football 1977 <laughs> wow oh i already have it scheduled um <laughs> yeah, you... for july 14th oh um american football theme i call it well wow. blip football backyard football pitch and catch pro football 1770 and red versus blue uh prototype so what day is that that's not one of the days uh no you have a someone else planning no, to come in that's no. you that's me okay i believe it's a friday that sounds like a friday yeah uh no it's a tuesday it's a tuesday okay yep, it's a tuesday and you'll be here i will have to yes brush up on, my brush up on your football <laughs> ea sports presents of darn madden, madden football, football 1977, 1977. <laughs> uh, madden i did play madden that's i think i was telling uh -huh. you that that's what i was saying there's madden madden totally football surprised for me whatever system my ex-boyfriend had in university and and he was a huge genesis uh probably he was a huge um green bay packers fan so we, okay. he would force me to watch a lot of green bay packers which was fine i am yep. um, <laughs> i'm a neutral sports watcher i'm not i i, I have no issue watching sports i Big love most. seeing sports live but yeah by no means am i a diehard fan of yeah yeah i'll watch on tv or live i guess hockey i like hockey baseball's okay in person <laughs> it's still really boring I like baseball. Um, I like going to baseball games. It's been a while. Well, soccer is We have is the Canadians pretty... in Vancouver, and they're they're they were enjoyable to watch. I they're enjoy fine. going to their games. It's still a slow game. I like I hockey. Like is it. action, action, action all the time. Yeah. Basketball is super weird. <laughs> it's just <laughs> back and forth, <laughs> and you just get tons of points. You're gonna alienate your whole audience. They're probably like, oh That's my god. That's just my opinion. <laughs> That's just my opinion. Uh, baseball is the best. Oh, I'm getting blowback already. Yeah. <laughs> I better shut Let's up. <laughs> Baseball is boring. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think the only sport I ever really played was softball, so I don't mind watching baseball. I like I like baseball. I played a tiny bit of baseball. Played a little played bit softball. of soccer. 
And then I, I was in gym and played I floor played hockey a bit. all the games in gym. I played volleyball. That was I played it. volleyball as well. But I was well. not a sports person. Volleyball's lots of action. I like volleyball. I always like to actually play. Hurt your wrists. Well, so. yeah. Oh, my God. Um, but, um, so, anyway, that's enough of that. Yeah. <laughs> so, some uh, upcoming game, uh, upcoming shows. Um, le- next episode. I don't even know what softball is. <laughs> it's a bigger ball. It's, it's, it's baseball with a really fat, slow ball. And you have to pitch it underhand only yeah um and they still wind up and go really fast underhand so it doesn't yeah. really matter anyway yeah uh do you guys not curl oh canadians ha-ha. canadians curl i don't curl you i have, have curled. curled i have curled actually curling is pretty fun um yeah. sweep, sweep 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 it's it's, sweep. A, it's a harder workout than you think it's gonna Throw be it's a rock. lot of it's a lot of like a lot of like holding lunges and then a lot of sweeping and and, and you're go. quite sore by the end of it but it's bending over it's so more, much more curling is one of those games that feels more like um like a like a strategic game but it has a physical element to it if that makes makes sense but yeah, yeah. hockey i like hockey it's hard i like hockey hockey's yeah. hockey's fun to watch but how about ring it <laughs> that's deadly yeah. Um, so we're get, next episode we're going to be curling playing... Curling for the 2600, yeah. Sorry. I keep interrupting you. Yes. Go ahead. There is curling for the uh, 5200. Is there? Yep. Mm. It's like the only guy that develops for the 5200. Oh, And neat. he's the guy who made that um, game we played for the 5200 a couple episodes. The mm. Magical Fairy Force. Oh, really? Oh, okay. He made real sports curling. Yeah. Nice. I like that. Um... Next episode, Friday, uh, 6 p.m., same time as today. And we're going to be playing Pit Cat. We have an exclusive premiere of Pit Cat, which is very Pit cool. Cat. You know, okay. Mil- you know, Million Molly we played? Yes. It's like that for the Yay! 2600. It I is love it. amazing. I love it. It's okay. amazing. I love, I love any, any games. Um, like I've that. already played it a little bit. It's incredible. He always has an advantage over me whenever we play things. You're like, oh well, I played it a little bit. I'm like, well, I'm playing it for the first time. You played Million Molly. You'll I be love able. Million Molly. Yeah. The cats do fall down in the pits. <laughs> it's another cat oh, game. I do like cat games. Meow, meow. I always said if I were to, yeah, the cats are like, what's going on in there? <laughs> um, uh, if I were to make a, an Atari game, it would definitely cats? involve cats. So. <laughs> yeah. We came up with one. Um, Prince of Indiana. We'll be playing uh, mm. Chase It demo and a new game, Snakes. Mm. And I may add one to that because some of those are very small games. They're small games, yeah. Um, so I'm still on the lookout. I may add a, uh, an older game in there. Mm. How is it not like E.T. with cats? Yeah, mm. yeah. Just change E.T. to cats mm-hmm. and you've got uh, Pit Cat. Um, and then we've got the American Football theme show on July 14th. Because mm. I know nothing about it. I'm going to cram them all in one show. Get it over <laughs> with. Get it over with. Yeah, take the abuse. Yeah. <laughs> take the abuse from the uh, peanut the gallery. Track. We've got For a, a lack of football knowledge. If you guys liked uh, the developer spotlight of Thomas Yanch, uh, we have a develop- two more developer spotlights coming up. Yes. One is for uh, Daryl Spice Jr. Yeah. from Spiceware. That is on August 14th. So yeah. mark your calendars for that. And we've got another developer spotlight uh, queued up, John Champo from mm. Champ Games. And that is going to coincide with the Zookeeper release. We're going to be doing an unboxing of Zookeeper when it comes out. We're going to make sure it is, it's close to the release of Zookeeper. And as mm. soon as I get that box in my hands, we're going to have John Champo on the stream talking about his full catalog of games. Same with Daryl Spice Jr. Mm. We're going to run through those um and that is it of course we've got dan kitchen's gold rush sometime in the fall as well um we've got the quad tari whenever that comes out as well still being developed um we've got some other fun things as well we plan to do the first 12 homebrews that were ever made Mm. at some point um don't know when might have to split it up they're usually i think they're pretty small games some we've played we may be able to gloss over those um and we've got the multiplayer marathon as well um when is that planned for you don't have a date yet i don't know yeah um no we'll just have to see that i'd like to time that up with the quad tari okay um because there's only going to be like one game maybe available Mm, for it or a couple games um 
I know he's got like quad tanks, so um, combat, but mm, with four tanks. That's cool. And quad, Very cool. quad joust. Quad joust. Yeah, so you have four Ooh. joust players. Uh, can, can you attack each other and knock each other? Oh, geez, that is going to be quad chaos. Joust. Yeah. So, that is going to be chaos. And so we'll play those those things and, of course, test them on Galagon and Wizard of War Arcade so you can have the high scores along with the two joysticks. Mm. Yeah. First 12 homebrews, yes. yes. Uh, when is the Desert Bus Marathon? <laughs> Did somebody make a Desert Bus for the 2600? For the 2600? I think they did. That's awesome. I don't know. If not, Dan Kitchen's going to have to whip up a quick one. <laughs> uh, desert Bus? 2600? Yeah, there is one. There's yeah. a ROM, it seems. Yeah, yeah, there is. Yeah, it looks terrible, as per usual. I mean, playing it. I mean, actually looking at it, it looks fine. Actually, it looks really good. Uh, I don't know if we'll ever do that, because that's torturous. <laughs> if anybody doesn't know about Desert Bus, Dan Kitchen made Desert well, Bus. Or you he, could develop, have... he was a part of the development team of Desert Bus for Penn & Teller. Yeah. How long do you play for? Uh, eight hours to oh, get okay. there. Yeah. Six or eight hours, somewhere in between that. And then you turn around and go back. It's like... Well, do you have to control it the whole time? Yeah, because it has a faulty steering wheel. It, it drifts to the right. If ever we have another marathon, oh you no, could cart only, really? I oh. bet. I bet we could get it if um, um, we searched long enough. So. I was gonna say you could you could have a marathon and just have it on one of your screens in the background, and we'd we'd swap up who's playing Desert Bus uh, while the rest of us play. That's Because that would be pretty funny. But eight hours would be too long. And well, oh, Ground Trooper has it. Perfect. Uh, we could have a um, Desert Bus cam, and just have it in the corner. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll we'll plan that for the other marathon. Whatever yeah. whatever it is. I don't know what marathon. I think that be. would be fun and you just just a background thing. We might yeah. plan it for like the four player thing. Coincide it with the four player. Yeah. But we, we need can't... a fifth player. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't work. Well yeah. Unless one person can steer it with their foot. Um, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Yeah. We can make something work. Yeah. Um, we can make something work. And have a Space Invaders, maybe, theme show. Yeah, I don't know Space Invaders we've, or any... Uh, we've played or, some Space Invaders yeah. before. And of course, there's a holiday one coming up as mm -hmm. well in mm -hmm. um, December. And the Atari Homebrew Awards. Uh, we'll be doing nominations in uh, January. And the actual awards mm -hmm. for nominations. Nominations in December? I can't remember how it works. Um, but around December to February, yeah. It's deliberately a terrible game. Mm -hmm. Eight hours. Eight hours for the 2600 version. Eight hours. So we could do an eight-hour marathon. Yeah. And just do one leg of the trip. Because I know you can turn around and get a second Oh, yeah, second do one point. leg. Yeah, 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 yeah. What is da Tanya Triking? <laughs> are you are you using t uh, voice, to, uh, voice to text? <laughs> <laughs> Drinking. Ha <laughs> ha, funny. Yep. Uh, it is a Blondale Whistler Brewery. Bl Blondale? Yeah. Blondale. Local yeah. brewery. It's, it's okay. It's okay. I, I, uh, I thought it was more like a Belgian, a strong Belgian ale, which is a little lighter and less hoppy. January, February. Bad. Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to start preparing for the Atari Awards, actually. Yeah. Very soon. But it is the, the night before, yeah, it has a nice color. Um, <laughs> it is the night before Canada Day, so I figured I would be okay having the beer. <laughs> I don't have to go into work tomorrow. So. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, Actually, not a it's not a school night. To be entirely truthful, that's never really stopped me before. Oh, really? <laughs> Wednesday yeah. night became my, my Friday night, so that's okay. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, so that's it. That's it for today. So thank you for joining us. Yes. Cafe Man 2D, Arena Foot, Carl yeah. G, RC70, Mental Atari 1969. Thank you, Carl G, again for uh, your game robot tag. Lots of fun. And he said, thank you for his suggestion. So he's going to maybe try those out. Mm -hmm. uh, D-Train, 37, Ground Trooper, Miss Command. Uh, D-Train, 37, and Mr. Fix, Stan AVC, Cafe Man 2D. I always get mixed up and can't remember. VHZC, uh, Kev Kelly. Yes. Uh, who else? Uh, Blue Swimmer. VHZC, I think you said. Carl G. Carl G. Uh, Splendid Nuts. Uh, a lot of people sticking around today, which is nice. 
Ar oh, Arms Car Coda. Yes. Thank you as well. Very cool. Yeah. And uh, was it Blue Swimmers game? Yep. Thank you, Blue Swimmer, as well, for your game, stack game. Yep. Captain Classic. And everybody else. Yeah, we got MK missed. Smith MK right Smith. at the bottom there and Jupiter Storm. Oh, Jupiter Storm 17. 17, yeah. Yep. Awesome. So we'll be back, like I said, on Wednesday with the exclusive premiere of Pit Cat. Yeah. You do not want to miss it. It is incredible. Yeah, is it? Not just the game is incredible. I'm excited. Everything about this game really? is incredible. Really? Awesome. The awesome. menus, the music, the graphic, like yeah. everything. Really? Okay. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Friday, 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 Friday. Yeah. yeah. Tuesdays and Fridays. Tuesdays and Fridays. Yes. Um, 6 p.m. same time as today. Yeah. Um, there'll be some variation coming up in timings um, in the upcoming weeks, but for now, 6 p.m. 6, 6 p.m. I think the Friday. next week it'll be different, right? I, yes, I next week it will be, be different yeah. for both times. Both times will be earlier. Yeah, next week I think it's and sadly, early, early. Sadly, won't involve me, so oh. that's okay. I need a week off. Yeah, we have to accommodate <laughs> the European fans. That's next right. week is European. All, All the Europeans. Tuesday and Friday next week yeah. is European. You want to say good night to Atari? Hold on. He's sleeping there. He's right here. Yeah, Australians get this week, and um, oh. oh, he's so. He's and so, Europeans get next week. He's such a cute little chubs. Yes. Oh, oh he's got some weight to him. Yeah. Oh, we got to put an Atari in the chat here. Yeah. Come here, baby. Come here. Yeah. Oh, oh did two of he them. He says goodnight oh, well. to you, too. He's purring. You get two Ataris, then. Yeah. Oh, uh, <laughs> five Ataris. <laughs> oh, yes, is he still purring? Is. Yeah, oh, a little bit. Actually, cute. he's more annoyed, but that's okay. <laughs> more annoyed. Yeah. Well, yeah. thank you. It, oh, Danny. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Yes. And we will see you on Friday. On Friday. Bye-bye. Bye. Good night. Good night.